story of Rwandan cricket is a, is a very unique one. My friends and I had lived as refugees in, in Uganda and in Kenya from where we'd been playing cricket as, chi as children and, and threw up. And when time came to come back home, that game did not exist when we came back home. We put ourselves together and said, no, what, what can be done to, to, to start up this game in Rwanda? And, and it was seven of us. So I had my personal kit, just a bat, pair of pads and one or two balls. And luckily for us, there was a group of Asian businessmen in, in the capital in Kigali. And uh, they left us one other bat and two old balls. So with uh, one relatively new bat, one very old bat, and uh, three used balls, we started up cricket. <laughs> Every success story begins with a passion. And it's that passion. We, we, we got our roommates on campus. We got our friends, we got our, our, our cheerleaders to, to, to come and tag along. And as they say, the rest is history. There are plans to build a brand new purpose-built national stadium. For the time being, this is it. And it's not really what you would regard as a great cricket facility. Uh, especially if you're a fielder, because there are particular hazards like this on the outfield. One of the many anthills. Our biggest single impediment towards taking the game of cricket to another level is facilities. We don't have a single dedicated ground in Rwanda today and in spite of that we were able to play reasonably well at the international stage. The players that started cricket in Rwanda have grown a little older, have grown pot bellies, but the youth who are locally born boys who have lived through the strife, who were born during the strife, are now coming through to represent their country, which is extremely phenomenal. Cricket is now growing a lot uh, because we are now moving in schools, teaching kids. So uh, we even tell them they come to our clubs. Cricket in years to come is very promising because whoever gets to know what cricket is never quits. Now, in the future, I think cricket will be the most game here in Rwanda. And when you see sights like this, it must fill your heart with joy, I suppose, because it's, it's all good for Rwandan cricket. Yes. You know, where there's uh, somebody chasing a ball and another one hitting it uh, is, is, is a bounty of joy for us, because uh, looking at where we've been and where we are today, it's just really an amazing sight.